I'm Jerry White Jr. and I'm actually your Spokane Riverkeeper and I'm here to talk on video number two a little bit about the path to clean water. If you remember last week we talked about water quality standards. Water quality standards are those standards that cannot be exceeded if a river is to be considered clean. Right now our river is polluted with PCBs or polychlorinated biophenols and the water quality standard is seven picograms per liter or seven parts per parts per quadrillion. That's not very many PCBs in the water body. But what it does is it protects our fish because PCBs, even in very small amounts, get into the bodies of our fish and make them inedible. So what we're going to talk about is two different competing ways of solving this problem. The first way is the conventional Clean Water Act way. It's the TMDL or Total Maximum Daily Load. So what it does is it works backwards from seven picograms per liter, right here where we need we know we need to go, and it says, look, let's take the maximum daily load. This is the max amount of pollution that can go into the river, and let's put a number on every source and a percentage, right? So every every uh, pollution source gets assigned a sort of number that's their budget of pollution. That number gets put into the permit for polluters. So when polluters are out there dumping uh, pollution into the river, they actually ha are tied to that maximum number or that maximum percentage uh, of pollutants in the water, right? If they go over that, then they are legally liable. And that's what a TMDL does, is it assigns these numbers to every polluter. So Kaiser would get a number, Kaiser Aluminum, Inland Empire Paper, the city of Spokane, et cetera, et cetera. What the state of Washington is actually uh, promoting right now is a second path, and that's called the variance. It's a variance or it's an exception. At Riverkeeper, we like to call it a pass to pollute. Because what it's doing is it's not saying, hey, here's a maximum load. It's just saying, hey, dischargers, what's technically feasible and practical for you to meet over here at the end of pipe? So the polluter comes up and says, for me, it's this much pollution. That's what I can economically and practically um, dump in the river. Um, I'm not so worried about the fish, I'm worried about what's good for, for my uh, bottom line. So the variance, as applied for right now, there's five big variances applied for, and the way they would run is for 20 years with five year review windows, but again, in a TMDL where we have this number and we work backwards, there's no number to work backwards from. There's no pollution budget number. Um, and so what's to keep us from getting out to five years and saying, sorry, still not practical for us to make, uh, to reduce our pollution loads. It's gonna have to stay high. And we get out to 20 years, we don't really know where we're going. I would like to say, there's never been an approved variance or exception in the nation for toxins like PCBs. Spokane would be the first in the nation to approve a, a variance for toxins. We don't think that's right. We think that the total maximum daily load cleanup plan is the way to go. It's tried and true. It's what the Clean Water Act has used to clean up rivers across the United States. Next week, we'll talk a little bit more about this issue. Have a great weekend from the Riverkeeper. Get out on the river and enjoy it.